So, Kemi Adetiba and Moabudu might just be getting worried because it's okay. And the movie is doing so well in cinemas, it just might dethrone the wedding party now. Have you seen that movie, perchance? What, the wedding party? No, it's okay. I actually haven't yet, but can anything really dethrone the wedding party? To be honest, I was at one of the cinemas recently, and when the uh, it's okay, the movie ended, the crowd that came out of the, the theater was crazy. And I asked, Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, I, I looked at, um, you know, the thing just ended, and people were packing out of a, a certain cinema hall i'm like what movie is showing there and like, it's okay in the movie and i saw adams there i saw a lot of people there i'm like is it good and they were like yeah it had glowing reviews so that's what adams went to go and watch last week when he was saying to me i'm going to the cinema <coughs> i don't know if i was supposed to reveal that <laughs> but you know adams it wasn't me definitely so yeah as in the movie is getting rave reviews i mean word of mouth is good i haven't seen it yet but let's I go see it this weekend it definitely i am down on I am down for that. Well, you're always free, so he has to be down. Esso doesn't do anything with his weekends. He uh, sits at home. Uh, I sit down and worship God. That is good for me. You worship God on Sunday, Friday, Saturday. Worship God as well. Nope, you sit at home. Okay. Don't listen to him. Talking about It's Okay in the movie, though. Uh, it's uh, directed and written and produced by first-timer Jade Osibio. And she has been saying that uh, the movie is doing so well that it is overwhelming to her and she did not expect this and uh, the success has just been mad. So... I think it is That's something. That's amazing. Though. I'm very impressed with the Nigerian movie industry recently because uh, we have uh, a lot of movies coming through. Mm. We have uh, the wedding party part two is, uh, is supposed to drop anytime soon. Wait. It's supposed to drop, <laughs> you know, with the banker. That's what mm. uh, with the banker. This way, Tommy thing. So it's gonna be fantastic. And recently there was this action movie that dropped. Of, um, what's the name of the movie again? That had this really really good effects. Um, no slow country. I haven't heard of it. I'm really bad with movies, I have to admit. Oh, yeah? I have to admit. I haven't actually heard of it. Okay, yeah. This is what, it had a uh, great effect. Mm. Magic Michael and a couple other people. I mean, it's that sort of thing where, uh, you know, uh, in a typical Nigerian movie, if you're about to get hit by a car, they give you a shot of the car coming, and yeah. The next thing, the screen goes blank. The next thing, they show a shot of the person lying down on the floor with small tomato paste on the side of his mouth. Yeah. Typical. Yeah. That is actually very typical. Yeah, but, from an uh, yeah, but more recently, I mean, yeah. especially that movie I saw, uh, they were shooting guns and you see realistic bullets and bullet holes actually piercing the cars, the walls, but, you know, the bomb going off and all that. So, I yeah. have a problem with this because I feel like we glorify the Nigerian movie industry based on what they should be doing. You know, I don't really think they're going out of their way to do anything. You are right, to be honest. But talking about that though, I mean, we have been swimming in mediocrity for so long, so mm. the next step, the next jump up for mediocrity just seems to be heaven. So do you understand? Because, mm. But if you want to compare it to some place else, even... We are even, improving though, Yeah, we we, are. even I if you want to compare to it to like, as, a, as a Gollywood or Bollywood, you know, not Gollywood, that's kind of... Sorry, Bollywood. <laughs> Bollywood. If you want to compare it to Bollywood, I mean, it's, no, it's nowhere even close and talk less about Hollywood because I, I think of some... I saw Transformers the other day, the last night, yeah. and I thought, when is Nigeria going to reach this level of film? It's going to be a while till we reach that level. I, think it's going to, I, think, it I, I don't think we're going to be around to see that time. No, uh, Do you think? We will be around. You think? By the grace of God, it's we will. Because it boils because... down to a lot of things. We just need better producers, better directors on our movie sets. And better actors. We don't have an acting school. We don't have a drama school in Nigeria that people can go to and say, yes, I went here and this is how trained I am. We don't have that. That we is, need uh, a drama school. That is very fair, but I think Nigerians right now are not taking risks with movies because apart from on this no slow country I just talked about where they, they, they had the whole action thing going, where bullets flying and everything. I think everybody just wants to relax in their uh, typical, you know, man meets a uh, woman and oh, uh, they get married or they fall in love. That sort of romantic comedy type homely we feel. And nobody wants to go for like maybe the psychological expand. thriller and uh, maybe the, you know, just some something different and diverse. But I think Kula Fulaya just uh, brought out a movie. Yeah. I think called Roti or something. Yeah. It's, I think that's a thriller as well because uh, when I read the storyline, it's about a, a mother who lost her son mm -hmm. and like five years later, she sees the exact doppelganger of her son living a different life. You see, these are the kind of storylines so that, that make me go, yes, yeah. I want to watch that. Exactly. You know? So, yeah, we should probably get that. Yeah. Cool. We'll make it something. Mm -hmm. Yeah.